Hey guys, this is Gutters, and welcome back to my gaming channel. We are back here in Feed the Beast, and we are unfortunately on a single player. So let me first say sorry that I missed an episode or two, but unfortunately the server gave us too much issues and so on, so I decided to go back to a single player. So I downloaded the save game and we jumped in here. I prepared a little bit of these things off game. I lost a little bit of progression from the last episode, but not too much. But so much so that I decided not to continue with a QED that we decided to do in the previous episode. So what we are going to do in this episode, since we are generating a bunch of power, I was thinking maybe it's time that we are looking into teleporting um, everywhere we need to be. So there is an awesome mod called RF Tools. Uh, RF Tools. This thing has a bunch of nifty little gadgets. I usually use its boulder <laughs> to um, quarry stuff. So, um, and then it also has dimensions. So you can go to dimensions, but I don't think we're going to use um, RF Tools Dimension Builder this season. I think we are going to use Mistcraft because that's something I haven't played with for a very long time. But what I do want to use is its matter transmitter and matter receiver. So these two unfortunately need a lot of power to operate. Well not a lot, but quite a bit. So that this is what we are going to do in this episode. So it's quite cheapish to make. Just a bit of nuggets, lapis for the machine casings, ender balls and iron which isn't too bad and then we use this charge porter to teleport to any one of the matter receivers in the world so mat matter transmitter we can put in here at our base and we can <coughs> excuse me tra um, transmit ourselves to various locations around the world so pretty much a powered version of portal gun but it's permanent installation so we are going to do that in this episode so let's see quickly so we need a few oh and I put a <laughs> pressure plate here because a creeper got into my base and blew up <laughs> this whole area so I lost all these chests but I replaced them with metal chests so hopefully we can get some place now oh and also Where is that slime? I've got three um, gold or berry bushes, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let's grab a couple of these. I think 16 should be fine. Metal, lapis, redstone, ender pearls, and I think that should be it, it that we need. Hmm. should have everything. Is this not or dictionary? No, it's not. Ah, oh, interesting. Well, easy. Do this. What? Hmm. So it's pretty much the same as with aluminum you have to smelt it up interesting very very interesting so let's grab normal ingots so this is what i ate about the older version of <laughs> feeder beasts um, let's grab a couple of them yes because we might need them for future stuff as well so let's make two of these one two transmitter right let's make three um, and then receiver the other two great okay so these needed power but now the problem is out in the world uh, we might actually wait you know what we can do we can go here we can jump up there go there We 
can put... Oh, okay. I don't think the basement comes out this far. Uh, receiver... And transmitter. We can actually put various places we can put a transmitter in a base. We can have one in here. Um, yes. Wait, maybe we should put the receiver here. Yes, why don't why don't we do that? There and the transmitter right here. Okay, so this name, it's a transmitter, is home. Okay. Name. Okay, this one's name is home. I'm just going to call it home. This doesn't matter anymore because <laughs> we are alone. Infuse. We need to infuse this because then it uses a lot less power. Okay, but it has now power. So now we can go here. Oh no, no wait, we need the dialer. Or dialing device. Okay, so redstone, or the issue. Wait, let's sleep. Oh, it looked like it went start getting dark, but we'll sleep in a sec. And two of them. Hmm, I wonder, does this need power? Um, okay, let's put it here. <laughs> We're getting cluttered here in our floor. Okay, home transmitter. This is a receiver. Oh, so transmitter, let's put it... Let's put it in a different place, rather. Oh, now it's getting dark. Huh. I think I would like to put it where this chest is. Let's go get the dolly. Hmm. Dolly, dolly, dolly. Let's right, this one. Yes. And, ooh. Power convert, yes. Now we take the dolly. Let's move right here. Why not? Can even break this one? Put the power convert there. Put the dialing device there. Okay. Now, if we say home, dial once, okay, I don't know why dial once doesn't work. So, I'm just going to move forward and we jump there I don't know why it doesn't want to break Okay, so I want. Oh, you, this is weird. You need to select the source and destination. Okay. Interesting. So interesting enough. Also, if you go here and you say dial once, it will stay connected until you walk into it, and then it will 
Dalio. Okay, so now we are going to use this setup over at the Netherworld and one over at the end. I'm not sure why we need to go to the end though. So maybe just for Nether. But we need power. And how we are going to get power over there is with you guys it ender tools there's the dimensional transceiver so this thing is awesome it can send items and power across the way so we are also going to use this to um, replace our power source over at the end or at the our mining world and also our resources so we are going to have a extra um, matter transceiver right here one for resource extraction and one for power sent so this thing is going to burn power like crazy so might have these why doesn't this one work Oh, it's insert and extract. Ooh, I made a boo boo. <laughs> Why aren't these inputting and outputting? are in and out don't we have enough wood that's very interesting ah oh, now it gets enough oh okay so it was just down the line too far for getting that all right so also just want to wrap up i put another smelter here and this one just takes cobblestone because some of these process cobblestone and you know, it backs up the system so now cobblestone goes there and it gets processed and it gets sent back to there okay so let me quickly let me show you guys how it's done so we need fuse coarse glass which is alloy smelter and we need the oct octatic, octatic capacitor which is expensive and then we need an ender crystal which we need a soul of an enderman so we need to capture an enderman and a vibrant crystal which is made with um, emeralds which is also expensive and then we get a ender crystal and then we also need an ender resonator which we use enderman heads and oh, we have one here i think we have up there as well and then we all have a dimensional transceiver so i showed you guys how to make it so in the slice and spice you make this and oh, let me show you guys how cool that is i modified it a bit keep getting the slime let's make sure to an vibrant alloy Oh, here's a slice of spice. So I made it so that we can just drop the items in. And it will pull in. Oh, yeah, I need to grab one. So we can, if we make multiple, it will just dump you can dump everything in there and we'll suck it in so how it works is we just set pull from top and on the other side it just spits it out at the back so once it's crafted it spits it out and we'll send it back here there we go so pretty cool in my opinion okay so now that we're done 
Uh, with that, let me quickly get um, Enderman souls. I already have one, but I don't want to use this. See, this is why we need to go to the end. To get more of these. Okay, so let me make a few more soul walls, go grab them, and then we'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're over in the end. And it seems that the end dragon is close by. Um, let's see, can we capture this guy from here? Come on. Yes, unfortunately he can hurt us from here. Why the Enderman is so close? Or oh, the um, End Dragon? Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, unfortunately that did not work. Um, it looks like the End Dragon knows about us. Um, it was fine before because he was a bit further away. Um, what else can we do? Can maybe make another um, power spawner. Okay, so let's make another power spawner. Um, 15 levels. We do not have 15 levels. Now we do. So while you do that, powered spawner, uh, vibrant, oof, two more of those. Why aren't you getting power? Oh, wow. This is weird. So maybe connection broken. Oh, it all looks fine. Very, very weird. This gets power. Nitro, I do not know what to do with Nitro, though. Uh, I think I just dumped the other somewhere here. There we go. Okay, anywho. Um, let me make another power spawner. Then what we do, we just replace that one with this one. And we can capture two... Element souls. So give me a sec. Let me finish making that. I don't know what's going on with this. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seems it didn't like having a block above it. Okay, well, there it goes. Ugh, let me show you guys just once again <laughs> how to make it. I know crafting is boring most of the time. Let's see. So that and that. Nope. 30 levels. Okay. I don't know why it glitches out like that, but. Enderman. Okay, so now we need to come here. We need to disable this guy. Now we break this one.
Did he already pick it up? Yes, he did. Creeper. Then we place that one. Active with signal. There we go. Okay, so the thing is now, I don't think there's going to be space for it to spawn, unfortunately. Uh, because Enderman is a little bit bigger. Here we go. And spawn. Now we need to capture two of them. And spawn. Oh wow, this takes a lot of power. And I think it's going to spawn at least more than one. Yes. There we go, and we can activate you. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we have the Enderman Souls. Now we need to. Uh, what do we want? Dimensional Transceiver, right? Dimensional Transceiver, there we go. We have those, we have not those, we need these ones, so 10 XP. Grab 10 XP. Come here, give you that, give you that, give you XP, and there you go. So I'll bring you back once we have both. Okay, these two is actually going much quicker than the spawner itself so let's see we need to oops craft two of you which we have and then two of you which we have great awesome perfectness um so where are we going to dump you i want to place you some place you're going to be able to access both but i also want to have access to settings. Hmm, let's go check upstairs. Do we want to place another thing in the ground? I guess not. So let's place you there. And let's just you see this thing is awesome. So you can say send receive <coughs> filters, receive filters. Um, that's energy, that's items, that's liquid, and that's my course. I didn't know it was able to do that. Nice. Um, so let's grab a couple of you, couple of you. There, there, and there. So now you're getting power. Oh, I hope you don't send items. So let's just break the item sending part and let's go configure it before we give you items. Looks nice, right? I think so. Awesome. So send and receive buffer energy. So we are going to make you main power. That no, doesn't matter. So add channel. This is send. Okay, items. Uh, uh, mining. Mining, we add you and you're going to receive only. Okay. 
Okay, so now we need to configure this thing to extract only. So we're not going to let you send items. We'll send it in various other ways. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to receive mining items and you're going to send main power. Okay. Okay, so this one we configure. Main power we receive and then it's going to have energy. Awesome, right? I think so. Um, can't we upgrade it? Nope. Can't remember. Anyway, okay, so we've added that channel. So it's configured. So let's go over to the mining world. And let me show you how this works now. Okay, so you are done. So we just disable, destroy all these things. They're never going to be necessary again. Okay, so I'll just show you guys. Um, I don't then bring over the um, the beacons. So let's just go without the beacons. Um, about right here. So each one uh, somewhere around here. Okay, almost correct. Just one over. Nope. And <laughs> another one. Ah, wrong one. Okay, so now we place you on top. It's going to add items. So mining, we send mining. So you should now receive items. There we go. So it's sending this. So on the other side. Show here. Yes. Oh, yes, we broke that. Ooh. Oh, sorry, my bad. Now it should clear. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, come on. Clear, 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 clear. There we go. Okay. So, but I think now that we don't, or now that we use that, I don't think we need these extraction anymore from there, but I think you'll benefit much better from there. So that these guys get extracted much more quickly. Okay, so now we have a groundworks for tra transporting. We have a groundworks for um, sending and receiving power. So now mining is much, much easier. So, but for now, I'm going to call it an episode, guys. Ooh, there's creepers down here. That's not good. So let me go get rid of them. But for now, I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!